Hey everyone, it's Final Round and my name is Jordan and I'm filming this a lot earlier than I normally do so I can get some sleep. I went to bed around midnight last night and it was not good for the workday. Um, so the first game had just started so I have no idea what the results are for the games. Um, but I do have some lines for you guys and then I have some information on good matchups uh, for props that, that you can jump on as soon as they come out. Uh, before they start getting bumped and everything throughout the day. So you, you will see images that come up on the screen. Those will be from a data app called Outlier for the ones I do have lines for. There will be a link in the description that will give you a seven day free trial for Outlier. So the teams that are going to be on a back to back, I was kind of shocked because this is a pretty big slate and there's only one team on a back to back and that's going to be the Nets at home against the fresh 76ers. And then the first play that I like, uh, as soon as I see the Spurs playing, you got to go to this guy. Um, it's pretty much it's been a free square as of late uh, Victor Wimbanyama over three and a half blocks is at minus 131 um, he's going up against the Rockets who give up the third most blocks to the center position he's gone over this in six straight games if you want a little bit of a higher payout you could go blocks plus steals at five and a half um, but the payout difference isn't uh, too big as of right now, until they bump blocks up to four and a half, I, I do prefer the the three and a half just strictly blocks because that is his main strength on defense. So against the Rockets, he did not hit against them uh, or very early on in the year, and then he went over uh, the next time they played on December 11th. And as of late, he's just hit another level. Um, so I, I do expect him to go over this three and a half blocks mark. Um, the second pick it was an interesting one. It's going to be uh, Wendell Carter Jr. over three and a half first quarter points at minus 117. Um, uh, if you've been watching this channel for a little bit, I'm starting to fall in love with the um, first quarter points when they're at three and a half because all they need is two baskets. Uh, the Hornets give up the 13th most points to the center position. Uh, Wendell Carter Jr. is averaging 8.2 minutes in the first quarter over the last 10 games. He's gone over this mark in nine at the last 10 games. And the one game that he didn't go over was against Detroit. He played four minutes in that first quarter. I saw he got one foul. I went back to it to see if he got in foul trouble quickly. He got one foul and then they took him out and then he came back in the second quarter and played just three minutes i'm not sure if something was wrong with him and then he ended up just playing around 22 minutes in that game overall so i'm not sure what was going on there but when he plays his normal 8.2 minutes uh, he gets two baskets and this is just a really good matchup uh, for him to get that this third pick sticking with that game is going to be jalen suggs over 13 and a half points plus assist at minus 115 uh, we just took him at PRA, and uh, he did well for us. Hornets gave up the fourth most points and then the fifth most assist to the point guard position. Markel Fultz, the other point guard, um, is questionable for this game. So if he is out, Jalen Suggs will definitely play a lot more minutes. He's gone over in seven out of the last nine games this year. And uh, he did hook uh, with just 13 up against the Hornets. That was on November 26th. And if you guys could, please like the video. And if you haven't, please subscribe to the channel. And if you could, please leave a comment for the algorithm. Um, I've been getting a lot of positive comments lately. Uh, I would say 99.9% .9 of comments are positive, And I really appreciate that. You all are uh, amazing people out there. So um, if you uh, take time out of your day to leave a comment, uh, it really helps uh, the video uh, get out there. So appreciate that. This fourth pick is going to be Emmanuel quickly. We're not going to try Gary Trent Jr. to assist again, um, even though it's almost even money. Um, you can take a shot at that, but uh, Gary uh, does not want to come through for us. He does not respect the bag, as the kids say. Um, so Emmanuel quickly, his assist line is at six and a half, and that's for minus 125. The Pelicans give up the fourth most assist to, to the point guard position, and uh, quickly has nine, 11, and then 11 over the last three games, and one of those games is with Scotty Barnes out. Uh, the other 11 assist game is with Scotty Barnes getting hurt, and quickly did get six assists against the Pelicans earlier this year on February 5th, and that was with Scotty Barnes playing, and he is the leader and assist for the team. So uh, definitely should go over this mark um, if he keeps playing like he's been playing and being the distributor. And then this fifth pick is going to be Herbert Jones of the Pelicans. Over 10 and a half points at minus 119. The Raptors give up the most points to the small forward position. He's gone over an eight out of 
the last 10 games. And he got seven points in a meeting earlier this year on February 5th against them. I went back and looked. It was a blowout. Um, so he didn't play his full minutes. And then uh, on March 1st against the Pacers, that was another blowout where he didn't go over. As long as it's not a blowout and he plays his regular minutes, he goes over this line uh, more often than not. In Outlier, they do give insights. Um, and I scroll down, I saw the insight, and they, they said that he's gone over in six straight road games. Uh, so that's also good to see um, that he's able to score on the road. Um, so everything's pointing in his favor. There's also uh, Trey Murphy um, that you could take a look at. His lines are not out yet, uh, but he is the backup small forward who sometimes will play more minutes than Herbert Jones, and he's a good scorer as well. Um, and then six pick is also going to be a Pelican. Um, it's going to be Brandon Ingram over 21 and a half points. The Raptors give up the 10th most points to the shooting guard position where they have him listed as. I don't see him as a shooting guard, but that's just where they have him uh, slotted at. Ever since the All-Star break, you'll see his uh, points have gone on up 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 he's gone over in all four games since returning from the all-star break and earlier this year on february 5th against the raptors he had 41 points against them uh he just really likes this matchup so it's just really good opportunity here for brandon ingram to continue his scoring streak that he has going on since coming back uh, from the all-star break and now for some really good matchups that I found uh, that I like where we don't have the lines out yet. Uh, so the Hawks in the Knicks game, um, Jalen Brunson is questionable. So we don't have any of the Knicks lines. Whether he plays or not, you know I like this guy, uh, Josh Hart. Uh, still has a really good matchup here against the Hawks because the Hawks defense isn't that good. The Hawks give up the third most points, the 19th most rebounds, and then the 12th most assists to the small forward position. I'm not too worried about the rebounds because Josh Hart is just a rebounding machine. He's averaging 16 points, 12 and a half rebounds, and then seven assists over the last five games. If Jalen Brunson is out, definitely take a look at adding his assist to a line because he started passing a lot more and he ended up with a triple double uh, when Brunson and uh, went out of that game. And then next guy is also for the Knicks, uh, Dante DiVincenzo. Hawks give up the second most points to the shooting guard position, the 11th most rebounds, and the third most assists. And he's been scoring 20 points, five rebounds, and two and a half assists over the last five games. So it's Josh Hart and Dante DiVincenzo. And if Jalen Brunson is out, the point guard to look out for for his lines will be Miles McBride. He literally played the in, almost the entire game um, when Jalen Brunson went out. And a lot of these guys will play 40 plus minutes um, if the game is close and competitive. Uh, Tom Thibodeau just does not care. He they, the, the Knicks are really struggling to, to keep guys healthy. And a lot of these guys are playing a ton of minutes. So it's a really good opportunity for overs here for us. Next guy to take a look at is going to be Jimmy Butler of the Miami Heat uh, up against the Pistons. Pistons give up the 12th most points and the second most assists to the small forward position. And uh, Jimmy Butler has uh, turned things on. He's playing a lot better than he did earlier in the year. Um, earlier in the year, his rebounds assist line was like an automatic under. And now it's looking like a really good over. Um, he's been averaging 24 points, seven assists, and seven rebounds over the last five games. Um, so with the matchup, assist is definitely there to uh, keep an eye out for his assist line um, with him averaging seven over the last 10 games and that second most assist and then definitely his points up against the Pistons. Uh, you could look at a points and assist here. If rebounds is less than seven, then you could look to add that on there, but definitely points and assist uh, for Jimmy Butler in this matchup. Then next guy is gonna be Pascal Siakram of the Pacers up against the Mavericks. The Mavericks give up the 11th most points, the fifth most rebounds, and the eighth most assist to the power forward position. And Pascal Siakram is averaging 19 points, eight rebounds, and three and a half assists over the last five games. Uh, the best matchup there is rebounds, so fifth most rebounds, and him getting eight over the last uh, five games. Uh, so if his rebounds line is sitting there around six and a half or seven and a half, that's a good spot. But uh, PRA could be a good look uh, overall. Um, and before I get into these last two, I want to shout out my partners, Underdog Fantasy, Sleeper, Parlay Play, and Chalkboard. Use promo code FINDAROUND11 on any of these. They'll match your first deposit up to $100 and Sleeper will do it up to $500. Uh, there'll be links in the description that'll take you straight there with a promo code. And thank you to anyone who uses those. 
Uh, so this next player is going to be Michael Porter Jr. up against the Suns. The Suns give up the fifth most rebounds to the small four position. And over the last five games, he's averaging nine rebounds, starting to get to that playoff form. During the playoffs last year, Michael Porter Jr. rebounds was uh, pretty close to a, a lock. I know there's no such thing as a lock, but he was going over a lot, especially his rebounds assists. When, his, uh, when that just adds on one more assist to the rebounds line, it's really good for Michael Porter Jr. Uh, so good matchup here for rebounds. And he has been scoring well, 22 and a half points over the last five games. Um, you could keep an eye out for his uh, points line, but he is streaky. He can go cold. Um, so rebounds is definitely the safest look uh, for Michael Porter Jr. And then this last guy is going to be Buddy Heald of the Sixers up against the Nets. The Nets give up the most points to the shooting guard position. And I'm going to put up his three-pointers made over the last 10 games. You'll see he's gone over that 2.5 three-points made mark in nine out of the last 10 games. Um, if they keep it at that line, I really like it. It was definitely a good parlay piece uh, to add on. Uh, to a parlay and with this being the easiest matchup for shooting guards um, i do like it there if they bump it up to three and a half I i'm not so sure it depends on what the odds would be um, to take a chance on it um, so two and a half three pointers made would be uh, where i would like buddy heal that so i know that was uh you know, six lines and then six matchups that I like. The reasoning for the matchups is if you see the line come out early and uh, you like it, if it matches up well, you go ahead and you take it and uh, you've just beat the bump. And since I am doing this so early, I, I will do my best. Um, I'm going to put a pinned comment. I'm gonna do like uh, my guy Ev from Guy Boston Sports. I'm gonna do a pinned comment and uh, I'm going to take a look at the lines in the morning and uh, if they match up well with uh, these players, I'm gonna put those lines in there with the odds that I see. And uh, if there's another line that I see that I like, I'll put that in the pinned comment as well. Cause I know the uh, the matchups can be a little bit confusing, especially for people who are getting new to betting. Um, you just look at that and you're like, what the heck do I do? Um, <laughs> and with comparing the, you know, how, how they've been doing with their averages and the matchups. So um, I will do come back to the video and check out the pin comment. Um, I will do my best to fill that in uh, when I wake up and I have time to look at the lines in full. So if you would like to discuss the lines further as they come out um, bef before I even get anything into the pin comments, um, I have a discord. The link is in the description. There's conversation going on there all day long. Uh, other people have different angles of looking at things and they also find good plays, uh, great smart people in there and it's all free. Uh, you don't have to pay a dime uh, or anything like that. Um, if you do well with this information that I give and you feel like giving back, I have a cash app and Venmo in the description and you can donate back to the channel and thank you to the people who do donate. So I'm going to get this one edited and get it out to you guys. God bless you all. It's fine around. My name is Jordan. I will catch you on the next one. Bye.